What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to talk about From in this video here again today. Talking more specifically about From Season 3 and whether or not it is coming to even be a thing in the future. Because earlier this year, in February I think, before Season 2 even started to air, the Midcard Times came out with this report stating that the horror sci-fi series From has got an advanced Season 3 renewal from Epic's now renamed MGM+. Plus. The series is yet to return with season two on the streamer, and even though no trailer has been revealed, a premiere date has already been set. They also put out a note that the news comes from sources close to the production, and the renewal has not yet been officially announced by MGM+, Plus, which still is the case to this date, because again, this report was back in February. However, their note about this news comes from sources close to the production. I'm going to actually reveal who the source seems to be in this video, because I know a lot of people that saw this probably thought that's not reliable because they didn't reveal their source well i'm going to reveal the source in this video i have a safe hunch of who the source is and you'll see why now later in the year during april i believe the coast what appears to be a news outlet for nova scotia which is where from has filmed published news stating that in the coming weeks the series from is set to return to nova scotia for filming so yet still nothing official has been made known from MGM Plus at that point. But this is a report backing up what the Midgard Times had previously put out back in February. And then the closest thing that backs up the July to December filming news is this report from Production Weekly regarding from season three. Now, for those that watch me, you know that Production Weekly tends to be quite accurate for all the latest horror topics discussed on this channel and just for film, TV productions in general. So in, the interesting thing is that if you look at this uh, image on your screen, it's dated from February 23rd of this year, which is also the same date as when the Midgard Times put out their report, which to me means that the Midgard Times did not pull the report out of thin air for people who, people who were quick to label everything fake news. They just sadly didn't provide the most reliable source to make the report reliable from a lot of people's perspective. I just have seen so many people in the community frustrated because the report in February didn't have a source attached and Production Weekly was that source. And those that are familiar with it know that this source is very reliable. So season three did indeed get an, did get an advanced renewal or from did get a advanced renewal for season three before season two had aired. The problem is the plans to film season three this summer might be altered due to the writer's strike. Harold Perrineau has actually recently revealed that season three is written during an interview with Telltale TV. He said there's no way to get on the ship without them, speaking with the writers, and I wouldn't want to be on the show without our writers. Then during the same interview with Telltale TV, Jack Bender had this to say, John Griffin, who created the show and writes most of the episodes, and Jeff Pinker, the showrunner who comes up with the stories. Both him and I go way back to Elias together. They were in the midst of carving out season three and the first few scripts were written when the strike happened, but we didn't have enough ready to go that we in the studio felt we could start and not have to stop. So there's that. Season three was renewed early. That is now, again, as far as we know, confirmed something we can say was officially a thing according to Production Weekly. It was supposed to begin filming in July. Again, Production Weekly is where those filming dates came from. Scripts are written according to, to a star from the show. And now we just have to wait and see if anything even begins in July now because of the ongoing writer's strike. Now, my thing here is, I just hope that if they actually do decide to move forward, that we don't end up with the most abysmal season to date. As some of you know, I already have finished season two. I still am very frustrated at how we have more rising questions than answers, but I'm still very much so in love with the concept. And I do still have my reservations that perhaps going forward, they will prove to me that they do indeed have a plan in regards to where they want to go in terms of what's happening and not that they're just writing it on the fly, writing it as they get renewed. But according to all of the information that is out there, they were set to film in July this summer through December. Scripts are written. The strike scenes that brought things at a standstill. And the report from Midgar Times that had no source that had no source attached to it for people to actually take it legitimately. The source was Production Weekly. And again, for many people who watch my channel, 
You know what Production Weekly is all about. They don't have things on there that are not necessarily fake news. Nine times out of ten. Usually, nine times out of ten, everything on there is official. It's just that we're at a standstill now because of the writer's strike. We also also have not had the official announcement from MGM+. Plus. But at least we know that scripts are written. And at least this video can give some sense of relief to anyone who was doubting that the advanced renewal report was fake it wasn't fake it just didn't have the source attached to it and i revealed the source here in this video i hope that in season three though that we actually can get back to again that balance of building mystery having a compelling melodrama i think the detraction for season two was adding in too many new characters thus feeling the need to bulk up all of these newbies while also still bulking up the people from the inaugural season who you could argue were still underdeveloped then everything feels overstuffed you're still building questions not providing enough answers and again answers are there yes they are throwing things at us for us to have fun and keep us invested for us to theorize on but i think in terms of the presentation we need to work on making it believable that you have a clear plan in mind because i think a lot of people are starting to think that you're just writing on the fly and i know a lot of people me, me included we just have some trauma from other shows where we've seen this happen where the puzzle keeps getting bigger and the pieces are nowhere in sight <laughs> you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i'll have links on social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video